Hello there, this is me, this is EGTV and once again, we're gonna show you how to create this boolean subtraction. So we have here the curvature. So you have a vevel. Initially, in Cinema 4D, what we're going to do to achieve this effect is we will apply a mesh boolean filter. It is a plugin made by a third party company and not max on. So how it's done? First, if you have this uh, this native boolean, you see I using un union and subtraction here. For now, we don't have this bevel effect. As you can see, we have these sharp edges. It looks like not natural. Now, what we're going to do is we will make this using the mesh boolean plugin first we select these two main object this one and this main mesh then we will create this as a union so click mesh boolean union then once again the other as a subtraction so mesh boolean subtract as you can see, we have this nice looking um, boolean with rounded bevel or edges. So, about the border or the outline, we'll just um, make this, we will crank it up, then we will make this uh, enable the fillet. Select this, choose fillet on the object tab. And then click your desired radius and subdivision so here it is we have a nice looking um, bevel edges so because as we know before that the cinema 4d has no capability to create this so you can uh, rotate it non-destructively but I will show you how it's done without this third party plugin so let's set it aside then we will duplicate these objects here so here it is then we will choose the boolean plugin the boolean operation here then we will rename it as a boolean no plugin yeah you heard right this is boolean um, curvature without any third party plugin so let's do what we did before we will um, union these two objects the left and the main base the main cube here then the other one we will subtract it using another boolean operation again then we will parent Okay, let's rename this as no plugin subtract. Then we will parent this. We will this make us this as our children. Now, here's the twist. You can use this modifier here. So select this um, bevel here. Okay, first we will group it. So what we do is group objects or alt G in your keyboard. Okay, let's rename it again. No plugin. Yeah, just to make sure that I'm showing you that we will not use any third pl third party plugin here. Select bevel. Then we will change it also the um, parameters what we did on the mesh boolean. Then we'll pair it in. So right now we have this not nice looking so we enable the use angle because we have here a pong yeah because the pong has a 40 degrees pong so we will um, copy it we will use it also to create this nice looking boolean so right now we have here some problem here as you can see on the corner because it is 
because it is it was made by the end gun so we will try to reduce it so we will we can replicate this object like what we did on the third party plugin now we change this to fixed distance to radial or proportional i'm showing you what are the parameters here's the best part unlike the third party plugin we have a limited capability unlike this using this bevel we have a lot of options here so we will we can control how it may look now you can as you can see i am cranking the subdivision here so this is what we can show you obviously we prepare or i prepare a fixed distance here then here is the tip we disable the fillet i forgot it before so now we have this um, kind of look exactly what we did on the third party we change the subdivision here then here's the part what we're going to do is to reduce the end gun here we will increase the level of edges or the segments here so as you can see we have the, here the end guns this is the um, lines or the guns that invisible to the viewport here's what we can do let's select this one then we will check how it's done okay you can see we have still the problem here this is the proportional proportional means um, the bevel the beveling um, all of the distance is proportion so regardless of whether it is corner or in edge but right that what we need is we need to make it exactly the first one but without this nasty end gun here so we will eliminate it by um, cranking up the segments x y and z to show you how it's done oh so i am now um, changing all the segments here so now the end gun is already done or already gone but yeah it is that completely um gone but it is completely reduced so there you have it this is me again EJ TV, and feel free to subscribe comment share and like this video if it helps you a lot thank you and have a nice day